Welcome to the office. Are you ready? Yes. Hi, Melissa. Hello. Welcome back. All right. Welcome back. So, you and hubby are coming from Kentucky. Yes. We had a couple of days so far, and we need to continue. Yes. We got a lot of work to do here. Now, um, anything different? Good or bad? Doesn't matter. But when anything? I walk, yeah, it's much better. Okay. The exception of my knee. What? Is it? Tell me about the knee. Um. It just feels like it's pulling or... Um, it's pulling on the front or it's pulling on the back side? More the back. Feels like it's pulling it up or pulling it back? Back. Okay. And it's when you step on it or yes. step off it? When I step on it. Okay. All right. We'll take a look at that in your walk and see if we can figure something out. Okay. So we got a huffer and puffer over there, don't we? Who's that over there? T. And she also bumped into my leg and about took me down in the middle of the road. She's keeping me in business or what? You? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, she's okay though, right? Yeah. Does she need any water? Nah, that's what took me so long getting up here was uh, give her some water downstairs. Okay. And then when she tried to lay down on the sidewalk, I was like, okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. I have a question about the jaw yes, that you got back in order. Yes, ma'am. Will it cause my teeth to hurt? Uh, what's the question? The realignment, will the realignment yeah. cause the teeth to hurt? Yeah. Well, let's put it a different way. Okay. If it's been out of alignment for a period of time, the body has been compensating. Okay. So now as we're putting it back in alignment, it's trying to figure it out. Okay. And so the chewing, is the chewing a little different? Yeah, and also it's like sensitive to cold and it just started like, after the first day we came, it was okay. weird. That's okay. So things are probably shifting around there, and we'll check it out. Okay. So that's a great, but that's a great question. And we had another patient just before you, and he's sore. He came um, from Colorado for an adjustment. I am too. Uh, after two <laughs> years, and uh, he was he was pretty sore, but he's moving. And right. the thing is, there was a lot of arthritis in the back, okay, or a lot of uh, scar tissue, so to speak, right. as well. In your scenario. It's similar, we've got a lot of fun stuff there. And you've had it for a while. Yeah. The idea though is um, temperature changes. Yeah, temperature mm -hmm. changes. Um, you can be icing. Mm -hmm. There's still some uh, soft tissue work that needs to happen in your jaw. Okay. Maybe we'll do it on the last day or maybe I'll just show hubby how to do it for you. Okay. And you guys can go at it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay. go at it. Sounds okay. good. So knee is pulling, the back is feeling a little bit better. Yeah, it's just really sore, is all. You're okay with the soreness? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And we've got the neck to move. Yes. It Tell me cracked. about the, Tell me about the neck. Um, it feels a whole lot better. Like, so I have the headache, but I think it's more of a soreness, like in my neck feel. Of, is it a different headache? Yeah. So it's not the... It's more like just like right here and not more everywhere. So more localized now? Yeah, it's more like right here. Okay, and is it still throughout the day, or are you getting periods where you don't periods have it? Periods without. Okay, so it's now intermittent. Yes. It's not bad. Okay. A lot better. You ready for more? I am. All right, let's do it. Let's take a look and see how the how's the Tiger family doing back here. <laughs> Your pants are reminding me of Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, baby! And I hate that show. You know, I guess? No. <laughs> we introduced ourselves, well, he introduced himself to it uh, back Three months ago. What's that? The Austin Powers movies. I mean, it was a different time. Yeah. I, I don't think people really... Well, all the older ones know it. Yeah. And then uh, our daughter, she started off with the... Molly, 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 molly. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> Ten points. T... Oh, check this out. So it looks like it's going to break, but it didn't. It swung over to the other side. Let's get that. Let's try that again. Watch, it's going to shift now. What's that mean? That means there's a lot of compensation going on in that middle back. It's heat. It's coming from there today. So, running the meter really fast, 
or stopping it where you think the break is, you don't get the right reading. Now, let's see. What's this on the bottom here? It's yeah. cross and a rose and three of our kiddos. Yeah. Still have one to add. And we got five points down low. Good. Five points. Five points. And let's see what's going on in the neck. Starting at the base. See, it didn't stop. It went to the left side, went to the right side. We're going to run it a few times. I've been I've seen a couple of guys scoping on online on social media and you know they say in the chapters it's three seconds typically it's three seconds a segment so if there's seven segments it should take about 21 seconds to scope accurately mm -hmm. and from the neck down it should be two seconds per segment mm -hmm. so if we go too fast we miss it if we go too slow we may think it's a break C2. C2, C3 area. This is around T10. And down in the tailbone, the sacrum. Let's take a look and see. Actually, let's do static palpation. Running my fingers down the spine. You can see the swelling starting. We had pressure there, remember, at, mm -hmm. at the tiger's mouth. That's clear today. And you can see the edema pooling right there in the middle. That's a big old chunk of inflammation, lady. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Round your back for me, please. There we go. And we're looking for that pit right there. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. That's twelve. That's eleven. Eleven feels more squishy to me. Twelve is also tender though. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Let's check down low. Oh yeah. Come back slowly towards me. That's five. Tender? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, <clears throat> Melissa got this device going on in her that was implanted in here for your bladder control. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to tighten it up so you don't go, or it's it, supposed to loosen it up? Uh, to not go, because it like bladder spasms, and that keeps me from being able to go when it spasms. So. So when it's when your bladder spasms, it stops the spasm. Yeah. Correct. Yes. So you don't go. It holds it in place. Right. Got it. Okay. How's the low low? This hurts. I think we're gonna have to do the low low today, and I gotta show you guys this. This is gonna be an interesting adjustment today. All right. I've had these devices in different parts of the body. This is the first case where it's down there. Nice. All Good right. What's that? Leave it to me. So we got to do down in the low lows, uh, S5 coccyx. We got to do L5, T12, and let's check up top, okay? You got it. Sit back for me, please. Let's check the neck here first, Shresha. Over here. Let's check the neck. So starting at 7. And different people hold the head different ways. What's interesting is when I watch doctors palpating Gonset doctors, especially the young guys, Based on how they hold the head, you can tell kind of who trained them. And some will hold it like this. Some will be on the forehead like this. I like to have a little bit of hair. So if there's no hair, then I'll grab the whole head <laughs> as long as they don't mind. In her case, I'm going to grab right here. You're okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Five, four. Three. three. Yeah. It's actually starting down at four. Yeah. It's 
starting down at four. I think at that's where you finally got it to crack two. Yeah, it's still at four. Two, three, four. Okay. Now, here's the interesting part in her case. She's got this device right here. And we need to set it in a way so we don't disrupt that. You're okay lying down on the right side? Mm -hmm. On your right side? Because it's in the butt cheek, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, not in, it's not inside her pelvis. It's on the, it's on the butt cheek. Mm -hmm. um, let's see if you're okay on your right side because I want to stay away from the lead over there, okay? I don't want to be on that lead. So we're going to do start with the tailbone down low. We're going to do T12. We're going to probably do T12 over here. Okay. It's time. C4, and then we'll reach XC, uh, L5. Okay. Okay? Sound good? Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Go right side down, please. Tuck the bottom butt forward. Is that okay there? Yeah. Okay. And you okay holding? Let's hold this way. Okay. Let's try the other way. Now, if I hold you here, are you okay with that? Yes. Is that okay on your finger? Yes. Okay. Cool. <sighs> right there. Happy place. Happy place. Hold, please. Actually, switch hands. There we go. I need to hold you there. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. That part of my rib, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Tell me when you're ready. I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> Let it roll. That's a little tiny baby. Come up slowly. We'll do it over here. Let's go face down. Oh! Slow down. Take your time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Slide up. And we'll use the drop board. So why do we gown the patient? You need to be able to see everything. You need to be able to scope instrument static motion. And right there. Now the other way for the Cox XS5 is actually the thumb Heise. You okay there? Yes. Cool. Gotcha. Whew. Nice. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do 12 here for you, okay? I'll, okay. Do it here. I'll be a little nice today. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we were talking about the paracoxes and stuff. One second. Firm. Nice. Like butter. She was like, whatever it takes. And I was like, <laughs> There are people who do what are called internal coccyx adjustments. Yeah. I don't do that. And they go in and they pull it out. Dr. Gonset came up with the thumb pisi, and this is the alternative that I do on the side as well. Um, it just depends. It's patient. There's patient preference, but it's also what, we, what I see on the x-ray. If it's bent a lot, I'm going to get a better set on the side. Okay. okay. If it's more anterior, then it's a better set over there. That should be a little different. It does feel different. Like. You know, well, like side it side feels side. smoother. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you don't move side That was side. a little stutter step. It's Sway like, side to side. It's right. a hand on the wall. You know, sometimes you'll have a seat. And let's work on seven. All right. Scoot all the way back, please. And we're going to set C4. And we're going to go ahead and put a strap on there. Is that okay with you? Yes. <coughs> Is that to keep them from flying out? And it's the seat belt. It's the uh, stabilization strap, or I call it the G strap. <laughs> Not the Y strap. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's the seat belt. Let's do it. C4. Relax both hands, please. 
both hands up here, nice and easy. Now, I gotta get right under that four, and the wedge is on the left, so it was really challenging that first visit, and I'm gonna hold everything firm there, just like that, good. Oh, nice. Got it. It's a little dirty, but we got it. <laughs> Little dirty. There you go. Nice. Walk it out. Oh, that felt so good. That was years in the making there. Sore, but it feels good. I've been messing up my work lately. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything. Have a seat. At least not yet. Have a seat. Let's recheck. Doo -doo. Shh, doo -doo. He's coming over to make sure. What's mm -hmm. Dr. Raheem doing? Do 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 do. This is just like the coolest stuff ever. What's that? The the instrument. Yeah. The meter. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you feel this. This is from the 30s, 40s. Sorry. Check it out. Good lord. It's heavy, right? You should have like massive forearms with this thing. Right? <laughs> I got little baby forearms. I got little arms too. <laughs> so this is a non-battery operated one. Right. And the question is, what is it actually picking up, you know? Heat, Dr. Gonstead described it as thermoelectric blockage. Okay. And I'm going to show you something really cool. Okay, so... I want to talk a little bit about this scope, right? So it's picking up heat right now from my finger. But Dr. Gonsas said it's picking up thermoelectric blockage. We're energy, right? Right. And my question then was, one day it was random, and a paper clip, check it out. What is it? Magnet. Magnetic. It's a magnet. Yeah. What does a magnet pick up? Magnetic fields. Hey, any of my... Any of my uh, Physicists out there or electrical engineers, what's that picking up? It's pretty cool. Something to think about. Yeah. Okay? Interesting. Yeah. Now let's get down in the low low. Mm -hmm. So guess what? That cleared up your five. Nice. Now we didn't touch five today. Check this out. Let's see. Back slowly. Pop. How's, how's the pain? It's a lot better. Better. Yeah. Yeah, I was like... Nice. All good. You're, you're quiet today. <laughs> I am. Why are you so quiet today? You didn't sleep? I'm worn out. Just, I don't know. Scoot I was to the right. Draggy yesterday and then... Can I check your jaw? Yes. All right. Open. Slowly close. Slowly open. It's a tiny bit today. Close. Okay, we're gonna work on that right side. Open all the way. Slowly close. There you go. It's a guide. Nice. I just think it's so cool when you see it, they click. You know what you're doing, dude. You're talking in the middle of the adjustment, not hearing the, they're not going to hear the cracks. They're going, you're going to be upset then. She's going to be like, why were you talking during my adjustment? Because I can't I'm messing with you. <laughs> okay. On your back, please. Let's work on the ankles. And check the knee, okay? So you said it's a pulling sensation. Let's check the knee. We're going to do valgus varus stress. There was a replacement here? No, that one. But this is the one that hurts. Mm -hmm. And it's like a rock back here. <clears throat> I'm going to just do a tiny bit of the posterior tibia been compensating. So 
So I just want to loosen it up a little bit to get you moving, and then you'll tell me end of the day what's different. Okay. okay. Posterior tibia. Talus. Yes, talus. We need a tilt. There we go. Sit up and turn. Oh, we got the hand. We got the wrist. All right. Down on the floor, ma'am. Alrighty. Alrighty. And the reason I'm having her do it this way is because she fractured something. What did you fracture? Right here. They told me it was the boxer, boxer break. break. Boxer break, yeah. Fifth metacarpal. We need to set her radius. We need to set the loony. Okay, in there. Nice and easy there. Come this way. Right there. Loony. And see the joint. There we go. You okay there? Yes. Cool. You can put your wristband back on. And let's buff out the back. Nice. You did really good today. Thank you. You were worried she'd get up when you adjusted him. I, I was actually a little concerned that first day. But she's just, she was chill. Yeah. Okay. Shoulder. Up again. Shoulder. There you go. Stand up for me, please. You're all set. Okay. Good? Yes.